All right, everyone, we're about to watch eight crazy hockey videos and try not to laugh or smile or even make any kind of face motion at all. It's gonna be really hard because I love to laugh. I kind of laugh at everything. I laugh pretty easily. I do think I laugh a lot. I laugh at literally everything. When this grit grinder signed a seven year- <laughs> <laughs> He's not here this time, so. When this grit grinder- <laughs> So we don't laugh, but we smile, we get one point. And then we get three points if we don't laugh or smile. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crush it. I don't think I'm gonna be the worst, I don't think I'm gonna be the best. This isn't gonna go well. Headphones on. Hey. Pre-game goalie mode, I'm dialed in. All right, headphones on. Captain Sirius engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this, baby. We're going for video number one. Here we go. Just to be clear, I have not watched the video yet, so I've not been docked any points. I'm just trying to get to the video. Okay. Video number one. <laughs> okay, that was just a pretty funny video. This one's great. Stone Cold Steve Austin music. <laughs> What is with that kid's haircut? That kid needs a new haircut too. That bowl cut is tough. Guy's looking like coconut head from Nez Declassified School Survival Guide out there. With his, like his uh, Kevin from Home Alone face after he put no net up behind his hockey net and just shot it into a window. It, this reminds me like when, remember when kids were just like smashing their TV with like a Wiimote? <laughs> I think I smirked. I don't, I don't know how many points that is. That's the first one. I don't know how I'm gonna do any better at this. All right, let's reset. Video number two. <laughs> I might have been smiling that whole time. I felt like I was doing it well. Like the fall initially is hilarious. Uh, the sound he makes is incredible. Oh. Uh, but when he tries to get up, he keeps going. Oh, look at 71. 71's just losing it out there. We've all been there. We've all fallen over and just thought, I hope nobody saw that. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, Tell you what, buddy, everybody saw it forever. Reset for the third. <laughs> I'm not even gonna laugh at that. Like, that was just the dumbest thing of all time. That's whatever, that one. What is this guy doing? Honestly, it wasn't even the crash that got me. It's purely his stride and, like, commitment to skating hard. But the way he swings his arms, he swings them like a gorilla. If Donkey Kong could skate, that's what they use as the animation. <laughs> Awful gear, too. The guy looks like an ice cream cone with that bucket on. He kind of skates like Jesse. <laughs> I suck at some serious ass at this so far, so. You can't get me with that. You gotta bring something better than that. I'm pretty sure I am 0 for 3. Number 4. Very serious. Here we go. Go Caps, go! This is not gonna go well. You know, if the mo hockey mobs can't handle me yelling and heckling <laughs> at the rinks, I think they should stick to crosswords and knitting. And if the young boys, young men, I should say, <laughs> Can't handle a bit of heckling at the rink. They should stick to tiddlywinks and PlayStation. The young boys, the young men, I should say. He's loud and obnoxious, he knows, but harmless, even though he was once accused of blocking an injured player from getting medical attention. What do you, what do you mean he was... What do you mean he did that? He was once accused of blocking an injured player from getting medical attention. <laughs> In the paper it said I told a lady that I was going to rip her head off, rip her, rip her head off and clean the ice with it. Oh my goodness. I mean, come on, that's disgusting. Yeah, Besides it is. that, I'm, I'm not a terrorist. That's like ISIS stuff. They use knives. She's like putting me out worse. What? Like I'm just going <laughs> to rip her head off and wipe the ice with it. Come on. <laughs> This guy's a psychopath. That's a little too aggressive, Corey. It couldn't have been any better at the end when he's talking about ISIS 
and taking someone's head off, a bunch of kids leave the ring. Rip her head off and clean the ice with it. At first I'm like, you know what? I actually respect this guy because like he heckles and stuff. And like, that's something that I like to do too. Jerry Picker! Cherry picker, nine two, cherry picker. But like, then he started talking about like the knitting and like ripping people's heads off and and ISIS. That's like ISIS stuff. Uh, he lost me. <laughs> I need this man to respond to the claims that he once tried to prevent an injured player from getting medical attention. <laughs> Not likely. <laughs> I got a whole report on him. This should be a, a, a rest report right now. All right, we're on number five. And I have laughed at all of them. The fifth video. I'm channeling Connor McDavid after any game ever. Get the wheels on the bus! That was a really funny video. Bro, way to go, Paul is so iconic. The one part that almost got me is not the Paul. Z and I always laugh at the, get the wheels on the bus. Get the wheels on the bus. Get the wheels on the bus. You know the best part of this video? Low key, after the, the window breaks, he just points. Get the wheels on the bus. I've been on the other side of this. I've been the ref in this clip, people banging on the glass. Never have I had someone punch through the glass as a parent, but I'd be so scared. Honestly, prayers to the glass. Also, I guess like we should plug our podcast or something. We did an interview with Paul. Corwin claims he's a regular guy. Seems like a nice guy. Get the wheels on the bus! <laughs> it's a little nuts. Moving on. Okay, he's going in. Penalties, I'm guessing. The fans from Montreal, come on. <laughs> they acted like they won the Stanley Cup last game. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That was not fair. Damn it. <laughs> that was the closest I got. That is not fair. Unbelievable editing right there. I'm going to watch one more time. The fans in Montreal, come on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? The single best sound bite in NHL history. This has to go second in all time. First one obviously belongs to Corey Crawford. All right, Chicago! Woo! Chicago! Very monumental moment in my life. Should have been my yearbook quote. You know what I'm not kidding about? Like in this video. Like and subscribe. You want to see more Bar Down content? Are you kidding me, man? I'm one for six. Let's move on to number seven. Regroup, re recompose. Keep your eyes on center ice as Mitchell Skiba sends a monarch flipping and flying in the air. What a hit. We have got to take a second look at that one. Just cold blooded, but the crowd goes wild. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I did not know that this was the full video to that. Wait, was that after he delivered the hit? Just cold blooded, but the crowd goes wild. Oh, that's tough. That qualifies as instant karma, right? Karma, I didn't even know there was a bit of karma in that clip. I thought some guy just goofed. You know what, respect to him too for leaving the stick on the ice. Like, I'm not going back for it because that's even more embarrassing. I hope someone took his stick after. A series of unfortunate events. All right, I got one. I got one so far. And smile, we're on the last one. Drops it back, Quine. Knifing through center ice, poked away, two on O, back the other way. Tyrell, yes. over to Sedlak, misplayed yes. it. And then David Leggio. Respect. Respect. It was the heat that got me. Yeet. Everyone knows this play. I like this clip. It's not really funny to me. David Leggio, absolute legend for just inventing that strategy and changing the rule book, you know? That's an, uh, just a complete horse move. That was like a more simplified version of Doctor Strange. He saw two outcomes and one of them had one person instead of two people and that's easier to stop. Pulls a little bit of a trick and now has to face a breakaway. On the penalty shot, Tyrell dangles, dangles, shoots, save me by Legia! I seriously don't know how you fit your head into that helmet. What a smart heads up play. Not, nothing funny about that. That wouldn't have made me laugh if that stupid yeet. Like, and then again, it's another custom one. The yeet sound effect um, made even more funny, to be honest. I didn't laugh at this one though. I smiled. I also didn't do very well this whole thing. I think I laughed at everyone. He definitely smiled at all of them. Yeet me the hell out of this room, because I for sure lost. I think I did better than I thought I would. I Definitely think I smiled at at least seven out of eight. I think I got four points total. I suck at this. Three out of the eight not laughing at, that's a W for me. I didn't mean to laugh at the ISIS guy. They use knives. What the hell was that? It's who I am. I'm a heckler. He's just a heckler. That guy is absolutely nuts. Like, are you kidding me? Like, legit. All right, that was a tough go for me. I'm out of here.